trouble praying for hours after this parking garage collapsed on Miami-Dade College's West Campus. Christian Ramirez, one of the construction workers on the project, remembers it like it was yesterday. Everybody screaming. Couldn't see, no, I couldn't see light at that time. Several people died in the collapse. Ramirez survived, but with numerous injuries, including multiple bone fractures and brain damage. It sure as hell is a whole loaf of negligence, and it was baked to perfection and served to these people. And, and, and you see the result now. Ramirez's lawyers say that construction companies and their contractors were to blame, and now the Occupational Safety and Health Administration is backing them up. Five companies have now been cited with a serious violation and fined thousands of dollars. Ramirez's lawyers believe these citations are only the beginning. That they were putting up too many columns per day too fast. They were trying to get to a deadline faster than they could. And as a result, things weren't being aligned properly, weren't being grouted properly, weren't being secured and welded properly. Now, we did reach out to each of the companies cited for a response to these citations. So far, we've only heard back from the Ajax Building Corporation. Here's their statement. The OSHA review of the October 2012 construction accident is still underway. Ajax continues to actively cooperate with OSHA in its review through the informal conference process. And out of respect for that process, we will reserve any comment until the review is concluded. Now, OSHA's final report is expected to be complete in two weeks. Reporting live from Coral Gables, Summer Knowles, CBS4 News.